Well, the 2018 National Jazz Fest is taking over Tauranga today at 56 years. It's the Southern Hemisphere's longest running festival of its kind, and one of its incredible performers joins us now. Welcome, Katrina Fallon. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Really nice to have you here, and looking forward to hearing you perform live very soon, too. Um, you were the lead vocalist for Riverdance, and you joined Riverdance at age 19. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I was 19 years old, and I toured the world with Riverdance for about four years and yeah just traveled to New Zealand actually in 1998 in Australia America all around Europe that must so. have been a bit of a dream at 19 yeah yeah it was I mean I'd I kind of I was in college at the time and I'd had a bit of an ambition to be a singer so I auditioned and got the part and yeah it was a see, fantastic mom, see yeah, it was fantastic experience at that age you know and you met your um, husband, Mark. Uh, he's, was he part of the production team at Riverdance? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. And what was yeah. it like working and travelling with your husband on a tour like that? Because it's quite intense. Yeah, well, he didn't become my husband for quite a while until, <laughs> a, until, until after that. That was a bit of a test run. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, Can we live together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was, it was fantastic, yeah. So and we've, we've done a lot of work together since then. So, you know, yeah, we've... Uh, Okay, so what brought you to New Zealand then? I know you, you toured here, but then yeah. what made you decide to come here um, and settle? Him. <laughs> so, <Right. laughs> well, he's, man. he's from Fakhtani. Mm -hmm. Ah, right. Um, and, well, you know, both of us had been travelling a lot all our lives. And we've lived in Sydney, we lived in Christchurch for a year before. And then we went back to Ireland for about 10 years, and he just felt that it was time for him to come back home. And, uh, you know, he managed to convince me. Um, and I'd, I'd been to Mount Maunganui in 1998 when we were here with Riverdance and I fell yeah. in love with it then. Right. You know, and I always said, I will live here at some point. So that's where and we are. And that's good. And yeah. it's close enough to Whakatane too for visits. It's in yeah. Like yeah. down oh, the road. It's fabulous, yeah. So tell me a little bit about your band back in Ireland, Cookie in the Vaudevilles. Yeah, so when we moved back to Ireland, I started up a band which didn't really have a name for a while. And we kind of just fell into the the jazz genre, I suppose, a little bit. And my nickname is Cookie. So the vaudeville thing just came out of that kind of theatrical era. Um, and that's where the band was. So we started to write originals and record and got an album out and toured and did a couple of jazz festivals. And yeah, and then it was, you know, it was kind of snowballing and it was doing really well. And then it, kind of, it all ended because we moved to New Zealand. <laughs> you went, guys, I'm following a man. I'm moving yeah, halfway around sorry. the world. See ya. Yeah, so I just want to continue that here if I can. And has know. that been hard to do? I mean, New Zealanders, they love their jazz. Have you found that difficult in New Zealand to get the ball rolling? Um, I, look, I've, I've been incredibly lucky with where I've landed. So, like, I was only here a couple of months and I was part of a fabulous show called Tarnish Fox and Divas. Um, oh, yes, yeah, yes. NASB Arena, and so I sang the lead role in that. So that kind of catapulted me out there fairly wow. quickly, and so I didn't really have to do the hard yards that you would normally have to do t for people to mm. to know that you're around. Because that must be difficult going from somewhere where you've got this band and you've got an album and everything's happening, coming to another part of the world where people don't really know you so much or so well. Yeah, well, I was kind of dreading it. I didn't, I didn't really know. At least you got some sun, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got the sun, though. Yeah, yeah. I was dreading that side of it because I didn't know where to start or mm. how I was going to get out there, and it just all fell into place. So it's good. Well, and that brings us nicely, I guess, to the jazz festival that you were part of. Your shows have sold out, haven't I they? I know. <laughs> that must be a nice feeling. <laughs> it is, yeah, no, it's fantastic. Tell us more about the jazz festival. You know, we, uh, clearly we can't come and see you, but what else should we go and see, and what do you love about it? Right, well, I'm definitely going to the Hurricane Party on Sunday night, because that's just, there's um, New Zealand band Kokomo, there's a, um, an Australian um, kind of Dixieland band called Shiraz, nice. and who I really am interested in seeing is uh, Isaiah B. Brunt, who's a blues guitarist um, and singer. So there's going to be a nice variety, party atmosphere, great fun. And the thing about the Jazz Festival is there is something for everybody. Mm. So, like, you'll be out with the kids on Saturday and Sunday afternoon down at the Strand, um, in Tauranga, just looking at all the open air um, performances, oh, yeah. and it's just a great atmosphere oh, for everybody. Brilliant. I've been a few times actually because yeah. Mum lives in Tauranga, yeah. and it's so much fun. This is your first experience of it, though, isn't it? Well, I went to it last year because I was here, but I wasn't in it, scoping so, it out, going, yeah, yeah, yeah I can do yeah, this. Yeah. Yes, now you're doing sold out shows. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very exciting. So, yes. what's next for you? Um, so, just to continue on the same thing, so we do have a new band here. Um, now, which has you know taken a little bit of time to get to know the right, the right people that fit together in a band. So we intend to just continue what we're doing and. 
hopefully book some more shows and yeah yeah excellent well, fingers it. crossed we'll be hearing more of you i'm sure yeah, oh, thank definitely. you now the 2018 national jazz festival runs from today until the end of easter monday in tauranga you can check out the website for details and don't go anywhere either as katrina is going to be performing for us a little later on as well